Hi, Paul Gorney from Luxury Living in Chicago. We're going to take a real close look at Wilmette, Illinois today. Wilmette, Illinois is ranked as one of the best places to live in Illinois by niche.com and a lot of people enjoy it quite a bit. So um, Wilmette is just north of Chicago. I'm going to show you uh, some maps so that you can actually see where things are in relation to the city and within Wilmette so you can understand it a little bit better because when people are coming in town or moving from the city, it gets pretty confusing pretty quickly to really uh, get their head around things. So um, just call, text, email, uh, day, nights, weekends, anytime. If you have questions, nothing too small, um, reach out. Um, I can get you up to speed on Wilmette, the surrounding areas, and um, housing, things to do, schools, whatever you need. Uh, just reach out anytime. Um, I'm here uh, a lot helping people and have been around here my whole life. So um, back to Wilmette here. Um, I'm going to show you a map of the um, kind of the eastern side of Wilmette. We're close to the lake, um, there's Cobblestone Street. Um, it's, uh, you know, not preferred by Uber drivers, usually freaks them out. Um, they don't know what's going on, uh, why the streets are that way, whether well, it's very historic. Uh, the, the village of Wilmette was built that way. Uh, initially, the town closest to the lake. Um, the schools are very close, um, walkable. Um, typically, uh, you know, people can just walk to the schools on the east side of Wilmette. And then as you go further uh, west, there's some walkable uh, neighborhoods as well. Um, but you can get a little bit more spread out too, where they're not quite as uh, easy to get to. So, um, so looking at Wilmette more closely here, uh, the weather, you know, obviously in the Chicago area is bad. In the summer, Wilmette is absolutely hopping. You have beautiful beaches, you have dog beaches, you have enormous parks right on the lakefront. Um, you have homes built along the lakefront with private beaches that you can actually walk through. Um, and, you know, you can, as long as you walk on the lakefront, you have the ability to walk right through there for, you know, eight, 10, $20 million homes. So you can kind of walk right on the beaches. It's, it's okay, as long as you're just passing on through. So it's pretty cool, you know, things you can do. Uh, the things that people maybe um, aren't as crazy about uh, with Wilmette sometimes is um, its proximity to the city is very good, uh, but still you're, you're out of the city. Uh, it's going to take you about 25, 30 minute uh, metro, which is the commuter train, to get downtown to the heart of it all. And then, you know, you have an Uber or a walk from there. So, you know, it could take you 40, 45 minutes to get to work, which isn't that bad, but uh, definitely is a little bit more of a commute than if you're living in the heart of the city. So it's definitely a, a decision a lot of people have to make. And, uh, you know, the, the, the pros of more space, more parks, close, beautiful beaches, easier to, you know, park your car around, uh, easier for kids to kind of ride their bikes around. All these types of things are, are, are pretty, uh, stellar reasons why people will have a little bit uh, more of a commute. Um, just south of Wilmette is Evanston. So that's actually a plus to Wilmette. There's uh, movie theaters, restaurants, um, a little bit of a more of a nightlife, a little bit more of an urban feel. So people like that quite a bit. Um, I'll show you that on uh, the map as well, the proximity um, to Evanston. We'll take a look here, uh, Wilmette, is right up here. The city of Chicago starts right about here. And then downtown Chicago is about another 10 miles, maybe 25 minute drive. So the east eastern part of Wilmette, I'll uh, we'll take a look at is, you know, all along here. This is all uh, beach, park. Uh, there's a golf course along here. But the main focus is going to be here on the eastern side. So there's homes along the lake that have private beaches. They are a big beach park here and uh, a lot of beauty. And then as you uh, get a little further south, you can see that Wilmette's extremely close to the next suburb over Evanston, which has Northwestern University and just has a great downtown area. It has all kind. it's kind of like a city suburb condo 
uh, uh, combo rather. So you'll see tons of restaurants right here, uh, downtown streets you can walk to, and then you can just walk in the parks, uh, down to the beach. There's a dog beach. Uh, Evanston has a lot to offer. It's only about five, 10 minutes away from Wilmette. Some of the areas in Wilmette, a little bit further west, which is away from the lake, um, have some uh, enormous lots. I'll show you uh, just north of Lake Street, very nice sized lots, um, some of the largest in the village. And then those uh, homes are close to the expressway. So if you are going north towards Wisconsin, you know, there's Abbott Labs, there's Walgreens, a lot of big employers that way. Or if you're going south to downtown Chicago or into uh, River North, um, West Loop, any of these areas, they're right off the expressway. It's really easy access from Western Wilmette. You don't have to travel an extra five or 10 minutes to get there if you're further east. So some people like being really close to the lake. Others would prefer to be closer to the expressway or have a bigger lot for a better value a little bit you know, further west. Whatever the case is right now, um, uh, the, the, the market of course is Kind of insane. Um, inventory levels are low. A lot of things trading off market. You know, I've been negotiating contracts on homes that, you know, have um, never been on the market before. People that know me, I know them. I know they want to sell. They've reached out to me, or I've reached out to them. So, been getting clients into properties that are not on the market, which is kind of key in a market like this because it's a, a brutal, brutal market. Otherwise, there can be twenty. 30, 40 plus offers on uh, individual properties. Uh, some of the new construction, uh, which you know tends to be a little bit further east, a lot of it um, is you know really in demand too. So just had uh, another one be completed just about a block away uh, from where I am right now. Um, so that's the western side of uh, Wilmette. Uh, other area to look at for some great deals is just south of Lake Street, uh, which you have more ranches, um, bi-level, um, tri-level homes, great schools, great areas. It's just a kind of a newer area, one of the last areas that was developed in Wilmette. So the homes are a little bit newer, a little bit different housing stock. You get more uh, space, square footage for your money which um and you get you know the same great schools so you just get a better deal essentially um if that's something that you're looking for it's also real close to the skating rink uh, ice skating rink tennis courts and the pool which i'll show you as well so in the western part of wilmette you will see um the expressway pop in right here so you can hop on the expressway right here go downtown, go up to Wisconsin. So, um, you know, a lot of people uh, enjoy this area right here, north of Lake Street, up close to the expressway. Um, there's a great park right here. The school's right over here. Uh, very insulated, quiet streets, um, just very, very big lots. Um, the other thing people will look at is just south of Lake Street here. Uh, which offers more affordable housing. The houses were some of the most recently built, a lot of ranches, bi-level, tri-level. So um, very close to the expressway as well, um, but right in this area, just south of Lake Street. Um, and then you can get downtown, you know, very, very easily. That area south too, you have the pool. So you will get um, a lot of, you know, you get the uh, schools right there. And then you'll get up here to... Uh, you know, uh, the pool area where you can uh, get to the swimming pool, get to the soccer fields, things like that. It's, uh, it's really quite nice. One neighborhood that's just really tucked in um, up against Kenilworth, which is the next suburb north, is called Kenilworth Gardens. This is extremely popular with um, people who want kind of like a cozy neighborhood you know, just uh, a grid pattern in the neighborhood, kind of insulated between parks, dead ends, um, and another park. So the traffic pattern in there, it's, it's pretty quiet. Um, people like it a lot. When things come up in there, they sell really well. Some of the homes are a little bit smaller 
and it's always surprising. Um, they're a little bit tighter and they're closer together and they sell extremely well. So people just like the makeup of the neighborhood and you can walk to the school, you can walk to Little League uh, Park, you can walk to the regular park, you can walk to the soccer field. I mean, it, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, you can also bike to uh, the middle school and the junior high. So I'll show you that a little bit. Kenilworth Gardens, so you can take a look, see what's around there. And um, it's a little bit further uh, from the train station, uh, but you can go to the Kenilworth train station, which is actually helps a little bit, not as bad. So take a look at that. So when you look at Wilmette as a whole, it's just absolutely exploded with restaurants, it has major uh, improvements done to the downtown area uh, with lighting, streets, benches, uh, mailboxes, garbage cans, everything. Many, many new restaurants, um, which is just an influx of people coming in from Evanston, Winneka, all the surrounding suburbs and the city, people coming up. So it's quite the hot spot, uh, very, very busy Thursday, Fridays, uh, Saturday nights and even during the week. Um, so a lot of places to hang out, meet people for a drink, go out to dinner, uh, take the family out, all these things. So, I mean, it's a pretty great spot. Um, really, you know, if you don't like, um, you know, kind of like a cozy environment, smaller environment, if you want a bigger suburb with, you know, more, um, you know, kind of malls, uh, bigger, bigger, uh, you know, like uh, forest preserves, um, big biking paths, things like that. I mean, Wilmette has a little bit of all that, but if you really want a more spread out area, there are other areas pretty close by and then further away that will give you more of that. But Wilmette, uh, because of its proximity to the city is one of the first suburbs and its proximity to the lakefront and the beaches is usually uh, a big thumbs up for a lot of people. So just call, reach out if you wanna know about off-market homes, what to watch out for, common mistakes, uh, call, text, email, anytime. Happy to help. Just north of Lake Street and Wilmette is Kenilworth Gardens. So this area right here, this is Ridge, big country club here. And um, and then this area right here, you can kind of tell the streets are a little bit closer. To, uh, the blocks are closer to other. A really popular area. You can get down to the Kenilworth train station around here or the Wilmette. Uh, train station a little bit further along here. So um, popular spot. Uh, and then you hit all the restaurants downtown Wilmette. Uh, you can see them all here. This is kind of where all the action is. Uh, you can see them all pop up. Tons of restaurants, Sophia Steak, people are coming from the city for that one. Um, a lot of great spots to hang out right here. And then you could walk down uh, to the lake if you want to, it, it, it's really close by. So a lot of great stuff. The train's right there. A um, lot to like, uh, you know, if you want to be out of the city a little bit.